for the Kings. The team that comes in. Five games out of the 500 mark at 27 and 32. Last playoff spot is 22 losses. Brad Miller, and he was distracted. That was a real distraction. Luke Walton right down at his feet well, as he went up. Luke fell down, and that's scary when you're the shooter. You jump, you're afraid that when you come down, that your feet aren't going to be flush on the floor. Free throws, fifth in free throw percentage, fifth in three-point field goal percentage at 38%. Stays out for Udry. That picked up by the bar on the push. He's got our test on his hip, and Kobe can't control it. It's gone on the turnover. First for the Lakers. Uh, how not to run a fast break. <laughs> Ball was in the middle, but the spacing uh, wasn't very good at all. Our test on an isolation play with the left hand. He powered his way home on that play, and he's coming off 32 in the last one on Sunday. They capitalized on the last one. Now Martin off the pick. Kevin Martin makes it 6 to nothing, Sacramento. So the Kings 3 of 5, the Lakers 0 for 2 to start the contest. The length of Gasol. He's got Lamar. And Lamar waits. The patience, the foul, and an opportunity for a three-point play on the foul on Mikey Moore. When you have shot blockers, sometimes uh, that hit fake is so critical. Just a blink. Until Nowitzki started to warm up and get it going. Don't forget, as he misses the free throw, Nowitzki was 4 of 16 to start the game. On the break, Udry underneath for the easy one. To the Lakers beating in the transition. And now they're down 8-2 to two by a half dozen once again. But back to Lamar. Have the slow start and have the Kings get out to the nice lead because they're going to really get these fans going. And then it's going to take more than uh, a lot of time on the floor for the Lakers starters. Kobe blasts past his man. Martin at the free throw line. And it's 8-4. Kobe's on the board. Luke Walton on uh, Brad Miller. Backdoor Kobe Bird. Martin's got the slam. Yeah, Kobe turned his head. Never did see where... Kevin Martin was, and the result, an easy deuce. This is Sacramento, five of nine. Four more chances at the offensive end. Luke Walton not close. Kobe tries to time it, and out of bounds, last touch by Kobe. Looked like Luke changed his mind in the middle of the shot or something. That doubt. They had that streak, that stretch, where it was always sold out here, Darko. Not anymore. It's deflected by Walton. Lakers have the numbers. Kobe on the push with Luke. Beautiful slip. The pass, and Lamar... Trying to follow it. Now a little step back, Luke, the second time. And Lamar close to goaltender. He did a great job <laughs> of uh, keeping his hand away from the ball while it was hanging on the rim. It's only a four-point deficit despite the slow start. Artest slips underneath. And he's got the foul. That's what I talked about at the very beginning. It doesn't matter if you're a lot taller than Ron Artest. He will overpower you for his head. And Lamar would have had an easy one. So a little more than four minutes gone by in the opening 12. Powell, good position, and a little baby hook. 13 to 8. I like the way Luke got it to him quickly. And, I, and the Kings better not stay in that, that zone very long. That, <laughs> that was very, very poor. Three for three, Kevin Martin. And across it goes, picked up by Lamar. So the Lakers only down by five, 13 to 8, despite four for 13. Luke Walton inside the arc. And Luke rattles it home for the long deuce. 13 to 10. Well, they're, they're really sagging off of Luke trying to give the make them pay for sagging. A little more than five minutes gone. Beno Udry. And he has had the hot hand. He's coming off games of 23, 25, and 25. His last three. One of the reasons why I talked about that matchup at the point guard. Luke between the legs for Lamar on the finger roll off the glass. What an assist. You know, and if he turns and tries to make that pass, he might get called for the illegal uh, screen when you're turning. Stays out, but Artest gets it. Throws up the air ball. And on the deflection, Udry. A break for the Lakers and a second foul on Ron Artest. Out of control, coming over the back of Lamar Odom. Well, he was upset that he didn't get a whistle, and there was no question about that foul. He At the defensive end of the floor. It'll be Martin wide open. Boy, they're too good beyond the arc. As I mentioned, fifth in the NBA at 38% as a group. And Kevin Martin, how about 41% on his threes this year? Well, a breakdown in communications there. One player thought they were going to switch. They didn't, and that's what left him wide open. Zamons got it on top of the ball before Lamar could go up. Now Zamons, the distance and the layup. That's what he can do. That's why I said it's going to be a challenge 
uh, for Luke, who's a little larger, uh, to try to keep him in front of him. him. It is very early, though. Gasol draws the double. Took a while to get there for Derek. And Fish gets it anyway. So Derek on the board with a triple. All five starters have scored now. A good job of getting rid of it, but they had him pretty much trapped. Kevin Martin solo again. Well, another layup. 22 to 17. Running off the ball, he's rewarded. It is so tight right now in the Western Conference. The regular season is so magnified. As the Dallas Mavericks. Gasol. Fish found him on the bounce entry. 22 to 19 is Powell has a half dozen. And the battle at the point guard continues. <laughs> Sammons. A little step through jumper. Not a bad move off the glass. So 24 21. Sammons came over as a free agent his sixth year from Miami. Former well, first round pick the Spurs, but on draft day in 2002, it was already designated that he was going to Philadelphia. And a draft night deal for Speedy Claxton. Gasol, good no look. Luke Walton blocked away, though. Brad Miller, the secondary defender. So the stop defensively, and nobody got to the ball. Udry with the layup. So the Lakers not doing a bad job offensively now, but defensively, the breakdowns. I mean, that time, nobody picked up the basketball. He dribbled the length of the floor. Gasol hit on his way up. More free throws. And it'll be on John Salmon. The Lakers need this timeout to do one thing. Find out what they're doing as a team defensively. That's where they've been in the negative so far to start this game trailing by five. That puts uh, probably Sasha on Kevin Martin. Kobe will go over to Salmon and uh, see if this defense now can get it together. It'll be Martin taking over. Utri. And short, but Martin stayed with it. And won't get out. Now on the leak out, Sasha gets the finger roll. Wow. 26-25. It tried to pop out off the heel, didn't it? Lakers with 42 wins, 18 losses to start the night. Utri had to adjust it. Mikey Moore will finish it. And they'll say it was outside of the cylinder as Mikey Moore powers it back up. They may want to send Bano to his right hand. I mean, every move he's made uh, has come to that strong left hand. And he's been able to get into the paint. Kobe off the Lamar pick. Slips it back to Lamar. A tough pass. And on the break, Sammons points off a turnover. 30-25. So right now... The Lakers giving up 8-2 to two and points off mistakes. The Lakers are their own worst enemy right now. They're turning it over and not playing good on the defensive end. Kobe sets up Lamar and on the slam, 30-27. Kobe, like a good running back, he saw the crease we saw. He's got to watch out from behind, and he does. Sasha inside the arc, real short, and Kevin Martin gets it off the front of the rim. Martin on the jump stop, and they'll float it home off the glass. Lamar with his second foul. That's a tough foul for Lamar because actually just stood there and Kevin Martin jumped into him and then slid off. And Shot clock in clock separated by a little more than five seconds. Kobe. Waited for Williams to go off. Nana was blocked away. He thought he was fouled. Now on the break. Plenty of time for Martin. So he lost the handle. Looks back at the clock. Account for him. They did find it. Kobe at the buzzer released it in time. Right on line, but long. Got the defense. That's going to be the key down the Strohs next three quarters for the Lakers. Well, the only good news for the Lakers is there's 36 more minutes of action for them to pick it up on the defensive end, and I think they will. They're only down 33 to 27. Left to, after his freshman season, 10th overall pick. Now Gasol. Working on Sheldon Williams and over him with a little follow-up. 12 footer. 33 29. So Powell up to a dozen. He has to finish that play. Big kid at 70, even 245 pounds. Luke Walton trying to maneuver on Sammons. And Luke Walton. He powered it up that time. 33 31. As Luke's got a half dozen. Well, Luke doing the job. He says, look, if Sammons is going to work me over on one end, I've got to work him over on the other. Sammons. Avoids the turnover and then gives it away. Gasol leading the break. Floats it for Walton. And what a tap back to Pau Gasol. Heads up play. 
you got a seven footer leading the break in the middle and actually makes a pretty good pass and but Luke may makes an even better one you want him to force Utri right they did Williams inside with the left hand and he'll get to the baby runner 35 33 Sheldon Williams second year out of Duke he came over in the deal the Mike Bibby deal from Atlanta he was a lottery pick for Atlanta last year Gasol draws the double that frees up Luke Walton who tried to get it right back to him. Luke thought there was contact. They sent it the other way off the turnover. It'll be Sammons. Uh, it was, uh, I don't know if Sasha was trying to take a foul or not, but he didn't get it done as Sammons ran right by him. And Turioff stays out there as well. Sasha off the pick. Leaving it for Luke Walton. Kobe, the long one. Right back at it. Strong to the rack. 37-35, second bucket of the game for Kobe. Long rebound, not necessarily a long rebound, but Luke's shot was a little long, and Kobe was there to get the rebound, and boy, did he take it back with authority. That's the way you finish. He was going to get a pick from Haas. Instead, the mismatch in the post, but it'll be Salmons outside instead. All the way to the hole, and he'll go to the line looking for the three-point play. We call a reach on uh, Luke Walton, I believe, as the spin move by Salmons gets him to the line uh, to the line. That's a nice uh, spin back into the middle. Kobe shuts off the baseline and he just drops steps, comes back to the middle, and gets an and one. So every time the Lakers get close, the Kings have the answer. He's not missed since he came into the game. In and out of the starting lineup and now coming off the bench for good in their rotation. Three minutes in for the second quarter. Isolation to Kobe. Little follow it real short. Sammons on the run out. Look how far the ball is going before anybody tries to challenge, though. Yeah, they got all the way back into the paint. He had plenty of opportunity and options. 42 35. Point lead again. They're taking their in their last night. As it's knocked away. Kobe, the mismatch against Mikey Moore, creates the turnover. He's got Lamar on the wing if he wants to go that way. It is Lamar. He's blocked away, but it goes right to Sasha. They'll call a jump ball. The Lakers really. Uh, Complain that they're not getting any calls on the offensive end as the Lakers turn him over. Kobe reaching in, knocking it away from Mikey Moore. But in transition, they come away with nothing other than a jump ball. As Spencer Hawes from behind gets the basketball, so it'll be a jump ball between Hawes and the ball. His uncle Steve Hawes, of course, playing in the NBA. His father, Jeff, playing at Washington for the Huskies. As it's missed time. And saved by Sammons. They beat the Lakers in transition again. 6.20 to play in the half. And that is the biggest lead of the game for the Kings now. At 44-35 on an 11-2 run. But it's a bad matchup here. Sasha on our test. Seven of the shot clock. Lamar shades on that side. Fall away. Everything's going. That wasn't an easy one for Ron Artest. 46-35. Make it a 13-2 run. I believe Phil trying to wait for the next dead ball to get his center back into the game. And took too long. Four points off the turnover. Artest. So the half-court set problems continue for the Lakers. Well, you got blindsided that time. You got to get communicated. You're on the road. Uh, whether you're on the road or not, your teammates have to talk to you. you. You don't have eyes in the back of your head. Inside of five left. Kobe, finally. 48-37, as Kobe is now three of ten from the field. Haas was wide open. They couldn't get him the ball. Lamar held his ground. Kobe gets the rebound. Farmar for three, not close. Air ball picked up by Lamar, and he's fouled by Mikey Moore. It'll be the third on Moore. Well, and he's going to the sideline, and he does a good job of getting out of earshot of the officials because he wasn't happy about that call whatsoever. Still 4.26 to play. Lakers have time to clean it up. And with that one, Lamar and the Lakers are now 8 of 9 of the free throw line. So, also back out there. 
And Fish took it away. Trying to drop it into Anthony Johnson. Nobody stopped the ball. Fish got it over Miller. That's because he ran over Miller. <laughs> he made sure he ran up the chest of Brad Miller and somehow got the shot to fall. Kobe weaving to create space. They're called the walk. Turnover for the Lakers is their ninth compared to five for the Kings and Kevin Martin's back into the game. Capitalizing, so. Now our test by Lamar protected it well. No help either. I mean, he had the ball at the top at the three-point line. Dribbles all the way to the basket. Nobody there to step in and try to make him be a passer. Kobe got by the pick man. Sets it up for his Sasha. The three spins out. Lamar will get the loose stop and go right back with it. Break for the Lakers, 52 to 43. Utre. There he goes to his left. And Samus fumbles it away, but saves it for Kevin Martin. Yeah, use the off arm, didn't yeah. uh, Sasha puts it in the middle of the floor. He's got Lamar on the wing. The trailer, Pau Gasol. Good heads up play by Lamar. Lamar gambled. Discontinued dribble. All right, test on the step back. 54-45, Ron Artest now with 13 on 6 of 8. As the Kings are shooting, 51%, Kobe slams it through. 54-47. That was a little aggression in there. A little bit of frustration let out on that play. Fish trying to take it away. Utri looking for the foul. So the Lakers staying there, despite the problems like that, points of the paint. Uh, again, though, every time he's touched the ball, he hasn't even made a couple dribbles to his right hand. He's going straight to his left. Fish behind Lamar. Got the triple. Not a bad wall. 56 to 50. It's down to a half dozen for the final minute of the first 24. First six minutes. Dry spell offensively. They picked it up. And Sasha beating that top. Kevin Martin working off the ball. That's a nice play, though. As soon as the ball went in, Sasha didn't take a step back, and Martin just blew by. Kobe splits the double. Fish, another triple. He's on. 58-53. Fish has had some games here, hasn't he? He said even when he was not a member of the Lakers, the two years with Golden State, the one year with the Utah Jazz, they still booed him like he was a Laker. Five-point game. Utri caught in the air. And on the turnover, the foul on Brad Miller. See, that time, Udry was going to his right hand. He gets in there and just doesn't finish going that direction, so he tried to pass, and he did. So far in this uh, this game, Lakers uh, haven't had passing marks in those two areas. A little more than a four, almost a five-second difference between the game clock and the shot clock to Saul from Kobe. Can't keep it alive. Another turnover. Just slightly behind him off his fingertips, but there was some pressure on the play, too. That's the 10th turnover, though, for the Lakers. Luke Walton's going to come in, get yeah. Lamar out of there before he can get his third. Good substitution by Phil in the second half to be able to play as aggressive as possible. Boy, what a good second quarter for Derek Fisher. 11 points for Fish, 4 of 6. And they call the foul, and the Lakers did have a foul to give with 5.7 to play. Now the guys, the Kings want to take a 20-second uh, timeout with 5.7 to play. Five minutes. You know what his tendencies are, and Bino's been around a little while. They should know. Fish, little stutter step, leaving it off for Casal. Powell's got an easy one. 58-55, and that's the way it starts for the Lakers. Nobody accounted for Derek Fisher, and he made him pay. Clean it up there as well. Well, that's a change of pivot, foot, pivot feet in the post by uh, Ron Artis. Tough step back. And across it goes to Pau Gasol. Derek Fisher locked up with the big guy, Brad Miller. In transition, Luke Walton behind his back and Lamar Odom. A little finger roll hole. 58-57. Cody just about yep, uh, interception there at midcourt. Seven. The Kings are 6 of 7, one of the better free throw shooting teams. On the handoff, Luke Walton shares with Derek Fisher. And Fish off the rim, trying to give the Lakers the lead. Yeah, and the Lakers first. Yeah, have not led. They ah. get beaten in the transition again. Gasol impacted that, but it goes right back to them. The Lakers are just flat footed. I mean, you can see it there. Even though Powell got beat down the floor, 
Everybody stood thinking that Brad would make the first shot. Had they just continued on, they may have gotten the defensive rebound. Finch up for three. And back-to-back -back misses for Derrick. Kobe went for the steal. Kevin Martin's got the dunk. 63-57 on the runout. And a takeaway now. Another turnover. Martin draws the contact. He'll go to the line to shoot two as Lamar Odom got his third foul. So a chance for more points off a turnover. This is as flat as I've seen the Lakers in quite some time. On our test, got into it, saying after the game that he was glad the coach didn't give up like he did in Miami on Tuesday. Uh, the previous Tuesday, a week ago today. Kevin Martin challenged, and Paul Gasol, as Luke Walton got out there. That was a good challenge. See the second guy already on Kobe? Turns the corner and floats it home. 65-59. Kobe in double figures. So four of the five starters in double figures now for the Lakers. The bench, though, when they were in there, not much. Only two from Sasha on a layup. They go all the way when he goes to his right. Hesitation, no look. Luke Walton didn't glass with Gasol. Couldn't get the rebound. So Kobe gave a beautiful pass. He's got to finish that one. Our test, and a break. It was through the hands of Mikey Moore. On our test has Derek Fisher. Boudry setting up Mark. Letting him go. Well, he didn't get the shot, but he definitely spun left. 67-59. It is back to eight. The lead for the King. Saul will jump with Ron Artes. And didn't miss time to jump that time. Waited for it. Kobe held up by Martin. They let it go, and now the foul on Brad Miller. So Kobe going to the free throw line for the first time tonight. There's just so much game left. It's, I mean, there's, the Lakers, all they have to do is figure out what they need to do, what they should be doing on both ends. And I think it's all mental right now, I mean, because they're flat. And when, it's, when you're flat like that, you just got to pick yourself up. Martin charges into vision. It'll go the other way. Derek beat him to the spot. Turnover for the Kings. Is there a seventh? Make it the eighth of the game. It'll bring it in with 18 on the shot clock. And they get Miller inside with the left hand. He'll get the second. The lead is eight again at 69 to 61. Brad Miller to seven and seven boards. Martin bodying up Kobe. He'll jump it across through the arms of Walton. What a break. And Lamar will get the roll. And Pau Gasol really upset. Swinging his fist gets a technical. He almost connected. And he was upset with the official, but it almost grazed Brad Miller. In fact, leads all scores. Pau Gasol has 18 for the Lakers. Now the Lakers don't stop the ball. So Mark will take it to the hole. And Mikey Moore will clean it up. Right now, the Lakers, as you mentioned, just a step behind the Kings. Kobe had it knocked off his leg by our test. It'll go back to the Kings. Our test all the way. The Lakers didn't get back. They were complaining. They relaxed. 74-63. No time to relax in this one. Well, no time to relax, period. The Lakers have been relaxed throughout this ball game, and the Kings have it. And as a result, with 5.56 to go in the third quarter, the Kings have opened up an 11-point advantage. It's a good example of that. And I'm glad you brought it up because as Kobe misses the second, the Lakers only shot 38% for the game. But they played very well at the defensive end of the floor. So a 10-point lead for the Kings. Luke Walton up against the larger Brad Miller. It'll count if it goes, and it will. And he had his eyes closed when he shot that one. Derek reached in hit him in the face, and he actually closed his eyes, had his head down, wasn't even looking. Part of it is they already have 77 points halfway through the third. And that's their largest lead. Kobe brings it back to 11, elevating. 77-66, 15 for Kobe. Right, and a fresh shot clock for the Lakers. Out of bounds, Lamar saves it. Luke up against Miller with the left hand, won't get the roll. Miller's shot goes down. He's not looking. Luke's looking, and his won't go down. Boudry, another layup. 79-66. And now it's going to be Kevin Martin. So our tests switch off. That's a big difference. Kobe on the wheel. And hard to the hole again. 
I mean, 79 68. He gave every one of their defenders a, ch a chance that time. Every one of them had a shot. Nobody could stop. Kobe's up to 17. Called on Brad Miller and a technical on Miller as well for throwing the basketball. Now this is three points and eight rebounds, shooting close to 60 percent. That does not get the second. 19 and five so far for Gasol. Nine point game, Sacramento on top. Going to go to the hard test matchup. Mikey Moore just trying to find anybody. It'll be Artest. Good look for Ron Artest right away inside the arc. Boy, he was fading to his left, but going to his left as a right-hand shooter, not nearly as critical. But it still makes it a little difficult the way he faded. The slip screen, Gasol setting up Derek Fisher for a great look. Fish comes through. He's got 15. Gasol with great court vision and awareness as they collapsed on him. No, three, oh, three minutes to play here in the third. Lakers close to within eight. Trying to pick up the pressure, you can tell the intensity rising to the defensive end. Boudry out of control. Hard test. And he did it again. Off balance that time. What a shot. Everything he's throwing is going in. I mean, that one was off the one foot and off balance, but nothing but bottom. Luke Walton had to face. He now faces... Uh, Redmanovic. Udry to his left. Just bracket him, push him to his weak side. 85 74, and he well, almost ran into Mikey Moore. They set that high screen for him to go to his left. You have to almost funnel it so that he doesn't go that way. Lamar fouled. Beautiful pass again. Outstanding vision. Powell Gasol on the bounce. This one, he'll be now two out of four from the charity strike. Yeah, the Lakers 14 of 19 at the free throw line. 10 of 11. Our test. We have the matchup with Lamar. And Jordan Farmer will keep it away from Mikey Moore. He's got Radmanovich available on the outside if he wanted to go the other way. Ton of time on the shot clock. Lamar got the triple. 85-79. Lamar up to 19-9. Lamar has 19, Ron Artest with 19, so. The 13 turnovers, 18 to 6 so far in points off turnovers for Sacramento. Martin won't get the bank. Great. Farmar tripped up, he'll go to the line. That's an opportunity for the Lakers they didn't expect. And that's not a good play by uh, jo uh, Johnson that time. Anthony was trying to draw the offensive foul, standing there by stretch, but the score is going to be the uh, dictator of that. He played all but 90 seconds of 53 minutes on Sunday. Now the baseball pass for Kevin Martin as he hits the deck. That'll do it. I don't know what Sasha was doing at the end of the play, but the Lakers will take it only down by six again. Well, they've got 12 minutes to see if they can clean up their act. I said it at the half. I'm saying it again, but this time time is running out. Deflection. So whose reserves will play better here at the outset of the fourth? It'll be Gasol against the rookie. And the little baby hook. 87 83. Powell's got 22 points now and seven boards to go along with four assists. And that's how the Lakers came out to start the third quarter where they cut it down to one and then all of a sudden, boom. Was... He tried to get out of the way, didn't he? Nothing there for Farmar. It's only a four-point deficit for the Lakers. Kobe on the spin against our test. Sasha sets up the song. Two-point game, 87-85. I'm uh, Reggie. I get Brad Miller back in the game. Rodmanovich. A little bit short. Picked up by Miller. The opening was there for the Lakers. Garcia, that's his specialty. That's what he's off the bench for. 92-85. Francisco Garcia, third season out of Louisville, forces a timeout. Every time the Lakers pull their spin a basket, the Kings have had the answer, whether it's been on the offensive end or the defensive end. This time, it's on the offensive end. Make of the game. Let's see how the Lakers respond. Lamar takes over. 
So Sasha's out there with Rod Monovich, Jordan Farmar, Sasha for three. Yes! He got a little pick, enough space. 92-88, Sasha with his first three of the game. He's got five. Rod Monovich had to take it away. Well, good reach by uh, the defenders. Kyle tried to hand it off. He had it deflected. Nobody stopped the basketball. John Again. Sammons waltzed, waltzes his way home. 94-88. That'll drive coaches crazy. Oh, the screen's coming, Jordan. It's going to come, so he's going to his left. There it is. Double screen. He's going to his left. Miller waiting for our test. The face-up game of Brad Miller. It's always been there. He's got a dozen. They're going on with 10 boards. And quickly, it is back to eight. Timed it. Farmer, great look. Again. Could have been a loose ball fought on Rodmanovich as Garcia got the rebound. The Lakers just 6 of 18, and it is going to be a foul on Rodmanovich. He asked for that one for a while. Yeah, well, you got enough rope. That, you know, he got away with over the back. And then when uh, Garcia was dribbling it up, he was putting a lot of pressure. Sammons, and he stepped out of bounds. Lakers will get it back and a break it back. He had the, the edge on Rodmanovich, but he ran out of real estate. Dix, 88. Don't settle for the three. Farmer got inside. Didn't that time, did he? 96 to 90. The scoreboard has gone crazy. <laughs> we'll keep you abreast. Inside of seven. Anybody's game. Udry forced right. Miller got inside. Blocked from behind, but they call the foul on Gasol. So much space, and he's coming from behind. Get the top of the ball. As, uh, they don't miss his, the uh, little 15 footer. Sends Brad Miller to the line to shoot a pair. And Kobe is back into the game for the Lakers, along with Derek Fisher. So the starting back court was 642 remaining. Checking in from station. Chevron is going to donate a portion of its net proceeds to the Lakers Youth Foundation. Chevron, a proud sponsor of the Lakers. Well, they're one of the best free throw shooting teams in the league, fifth best, in fact, percentage wise. They've shown it tonight. 16 of 17 at the line after those makes by Miller. Kobe, quick catch and shoot. That kind of night. And they gave it away. Now Fish jumping in for Gasol. And he'll go to the line looking for the three point play. How fortunate was that for the Lakers oh, and Francisco boy. Garcia this time of things. Well, he had it. It's almost like he was trying to give it to his teammate. Beno said, I, I didn't know what you were going to do. And ends up giving it to Radmanovic, who gives it to Fisher, who gives it to Powell, who gets the hoop and won. That's some play. The Lakers will take that one in a big way. And by five. So the starters out there with the exception of Radmanovic. Miller, beautiful pass. Our test. Ran off the high post and came down and got it. The clock considerations now. Our test not close. Kobe will push it. Right by Udry. Kobe denied but blocking foul on our test as he slid under Kobe. Two more free throws for Kobe. Our test after the ball was rebounded by Kobe. Our run our test grabbed the jersey of <laughs> Lamar Odom as Kobe was fouled there. <laughs> By Kevin Martin, Martin grabbed it. I mean, how could you not see that if you're an official? Seriously. He grabs the jersey of the ball handler. Boy, but then you can't turn your head on Kevin Martin. Pressure on. Kobe comes through. Three-point game, but we've seen it before. And there's been the little spurts of four or five. Now can the stops continue for the Lakers? Sammons doesn't get the layup. Gasol's got the board. He got it inside, didn't he? Waiting for the pick. Goes right back to Gasol. Nobody there. And Gasol rolls it home. 199. Lakers only down by one. Kobe on the assist. Close as they've been since warm-ups. They've never led in the game. Our test of the baseline denied by Lamar. He'll get it out. Maybe. So the Lakers look for their first lead of the game. It's Kevin Martin this time. Not our test. He held him. He'll shoot two. So the Lakers go to the line looking for the lead. Wow. Four minutes and change. And a little bit of change. 4.06 to be exact. 
Now Kobe, second youngest down to 21,000. And he gives the Lakers their first lead of the game. 101-100 with 4.06 to play. Hands of our test, Joel. Boudry wanted that. Then looked at the back door from Miller. From Martin. Miller gave up the dribble. And good play by Luke Walton. He just punched it away from Brad Miller. Smart play. On the spin. Kobe makes it look easy. 103-100. That's what he does. Lakers by three. Kobe's up to 25. Fourth, Brad Miller into a terrible shot. Our test tried to tie it. Cleared up by Gasol. Kobe again with space right by our test. He'll go to the line to shoot two. So the attack mode from number 24. You talk about footwork. His previous basket, he comes down, watch the footwork spin up. That is just beautiful. Read the defense. They take away the baseline, go back to the middle, spin move up, lay it in. That yeah. is pretty. Wait a minute. Do you believe this in the background in Sacramento of all places? <laughs> the history these two teams have here is he's, they're chanting MVP in the background. Well, they did it before the game started, but they had to wait until the Lakers got the lead to try to do it again. <laughs> Shaq called him the Queens. Cowtown references. And now Kobe puts the Lakers up by a four. Make them earn everything. They have not had a field goal over the last three plus minutes. Kobe makes it an 11 to nothing run now for the Lakers. It's a block. 235 and counting. Kevin Martin taken away by Fish. He's got Kobe on the run. Kobe from Fish. Showtime. 360, 107, 100 Lakers. What a defensive play in the last two, two minutes by the Lakers. They have really gotten the job done. <laughs> the birds are out in Sacramento. The ones that are rooting for the Kings, that is. The Lakers really making things happen. Turning them over, finally. Then going out in open court and show off a little bit, number 24. 360, oh, okay. Bad finger, no problem. Kobe runs through a wall to get there. And they get it to our test. Udry for a three. Look out. Just what I feel. That's what you didn't want. Now it's only a two possession game. Fish dropped down to help out. Couldn't recover in time. 107 103. Past our test. Early in the shot clock, but slowing it down. Now the jumper. Kobe! 109 103. 31 and counting. No fouls in the backcourt. See, the court's opened up again with all that pressure. He let Mikey Moore shoot. Mikey Moore said in the pick, Martin on the subtle delay. Oh. Will they get the roll? Yes. On the putback by Moore. Pressure of a former defensive player of the year in Ron Artest. Now, by Artest, and he's held up from behind. Two more free throws for Kobe. He can get there. And, and we talked about Baino going to his left hand all the time, all the time, because he can't go the other way effectively. Kobe is doing all this going to his left hand. You don't know how to play him because he can go left, he can go right, he can go middle, he can go up, he can go down. That's why he is the man. Two minutes. Now, huge free throw to make it a two-possession game. And it rolls out. Never has got it. Can you get one more stop? That might be a big free throw there, especially if you give up another three-point play. Running Martin for kicks. Kobe trailing him. They're down to 10 of the shot clock. Our test. Three in the corner. And Luke Walton wow. thrown out of bounds by Brad Miller. It goes the other way. Luke Walton's got two free throws. What a, what a bad play by Brad Miller. Luke had boxed him completely for the Lakers, willing them once again into a territory as Luke gets the second. Now a full two-possession game, but I'm talking about the territory where it's there for the taking. And once again, they're on top in crunch time because one guy. Another three. Off the lip of the rim, batted out. Fish. Use the clock. That's what he wants to do, and he's fouled. Good play. Yeah, smart play. 45.1. And now you hit your free throws, too. He's talking to the fans. He's fired up, but he's always fired up. Seems like the playoffs are here already. There's so much riding on each game when you're not separated by much like the Lakers and the San Antonio Spurs. Fish gets it done. 
Lakers by eight, their biggest lead of the game, and Kobe is loving every second of it. <laughs> Nothing better than going on the road, especially if that road trip takes you to Sacramento. And have a point, and he almost walked with it. It'll be our test for three. Luke Walton with a rebound. They want to foul. They can't get to the ball, though. That's not the guy you want to foul. Maybe they don't want to foul. They, if they didn't foul when they got the rebound, why are they fouling now? Well, it's <laughs> now it's kind of fitting, though. Kobe, you're right. Willed them into this position completely. But the young man going at the free throw line has had one heck of a night as well. And that's Pau Gasol with 29. Stewie's never won in this building in 10 trips. Well, that's in history now. That's definitely history now because the Lakers are going to walk out of here with a V-I-C-T-O-R. Wow. And it's now 114 to 105 as the Lakers are up by nine with 23 seconds to play. So Paul Gasol up to 30, 10, and four. And how about Gasol? 11 of 13 at the line with that make, 31 points, 10 of 15 from the field. Well, I, I just don't understand. That's what they should have done the previous time if they were going to continue to do that. Now, Kobe with a double-double. He's got 32 and 10 boards. As the Lakers have three of their start, all, all three of their starters that you would think would be rebounders, <laughs> Kobe, Lamar, and Powell Casal in double figures on the glass. Now the Lakers with this win go to 22 and 11 on the road. And when you look at differences between this edition of the Lakers and the last couple of years, what they've done on the road with the second best road record now in the NBA. Only Boston is better, and the Lakers have a lot of momentum in the second half of the season. And Ronnie Turioff coming in, giving Powell a chance to get some props from the Laker fans here. What Eddie, a game he yeah. put together. A sensational effort by Powell Gasol. When the Lakers were down, and it could have been a real deep deficit, Gasol kept coming back with shots. Kobe holds it high. 117, 105. What a finish. For that man, 34 points, 10 boards. Dribble it out, Ron. <laughs> no, he won't. Rony Turioff, and that'll do it. Don't need to even get it across the line. The first of the four-game season series taken by the Lakers. Wow. So now they have taken three consecutive on the Kings home floor. What a game, what a game, what a game. And the Lakers finally get the victory. Let's go down on the court side now to John Ireland. John? Thanks. I'm with Kobe Bryant. How did you guys win this game? It was just gutting it out. I mean, it was a tough game for us. You know, they're, they're such an unorthodox team. It took us about three and a half quarters to get used to their style of play. And then we're able to sit down defensively and get some easy opportunities. At one point in this game, you were 7 of 23 shooting. And in the fourth quarter, and I've seen you do this so many times, you just took over. How best you can explain do you do that? I mean, it's the will to win. You know, I... You just got to push through it. You got to wheel the ball in the basket sometimes, and, uh, and I was able to come through for us. I've heard a lot of chants for you on the road, but compare this to other crowds on the road that have jumped behind you and the Lakers. Well, you know, it's a lot different here, obviously, because it's Sacramento. You know, they absolutely hate us here. So, you know, it's great to see a sea of gold here in the arena. And uh, to get but this chance. MVP chant was as loud as we've heard, right? No, and it's, uh, it's surprising coming from Sacramento, but it means a lot. Obvious. It's better than hearing cowbells. Yeah, and here, here they go again. Yeah, uh, yeah. Did you ever think in your playing career you would win over this town? No, never. No, never. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank Thanks you. for Thank stopping. You. That's Kobe Bryant. Back to you. Thanks, John. Maybe the line of the interview, it beats hearing cowbells. Yeah, <laughs> and I think I'll second that. <laughs>